When you're on the go, is it kind of hard to you know, add what you're going to be doing time blocking wise? You have this thing you want to do at a certain time of the day and you just open up your phone and you're like, oh God, no, this, this isn't like a really quick experience. I wish I could just like text myself and it would also go into my calendar. Well, luckily Hints can do that. As an ambassador of Hints, I've been a big fan of the way that you can integrate things like text messages into the apps that you know and love. So if I go here to create and press Google, I can then pick where it's coming from. And for me, I'm gonna pick this SMS message here. And what I can do is, is I can actually open up my phone and use the QR code here and then boom, send this token to start Hints. Okay, and then boom, as you can see on the screen, SMS is enabled. Let's continue the flow setup. So what can I put? I can put a hashtag calendar right here, or I can put hashtag cal right here, as I already had another one for Slack as an example for this. So I can do hashtag cal to make it even quicker. The flow is enabled. Don't forget to use hashtag cal while sending data. Great. So as you can see in this little bit of an example here, what I can do is if I go to my iPhone, I would recommend is not even just having, you know, your ability to text yourself through this. Like for example, if I put, make sure to take to grab Christmas gifts at 8 a.m. Hashtag Cal. If I do this, you'll see that at 8 a.m. Grab Christmas gifts popped up and then with the natural language processing, you put in the description, everything that I put, and then change the name to grab Christmas gifts, which is a very smart thing for us to do. It defaults to a 30 minute block, which is totally fine. I can then just take this here and change it to 15 minutes because I got to go downstairs and basically grab those before I go home for Christmas. And then what I would actually recommend you do is on your iPhone, if you go to shortcuts, you can create shortcut on the top right here and do send message. And then you can pick the recipient and the recipient would be that hints number that you had. You can untick show when run, something I recommend by the way. And you're gonna have to basically find that number. So what I would recommend you do, is go back here, create new contact, call it hints.so. So then it's a little bit easier or you can just copy this phone number. But either way, if I go here and do hints, then boom. Then time block would be an option I can do here. Then let's change the symbol be a calendar, make it whatever color you want, press done, and you can press this guy, and then add it to home screen. So right now, say for example, it's on my homepage, I already have some stuff set up, but I might actually do this in the future. If I press time block, it'll prompt me to send a message to hints. So if I went here and put drive home at 7 p.m. tomorrow, hashtag Cal, it would allow me to do it much quicker than going into my text app. And if I go into the Wednesday, You'll see in a few seconds, it'll pop up, drive home at 7 p.m. tomorrow. And instead of me having to go here, press plus, press event, type it out. I was just easily, easily able to do this and type something really quick, slash cal, bada bing, bada boom, it's in there. There are a myriad of different ways that you can use this integration to capture things extremely quickly with hints.so, and that's why I'm an ambassador of their app. Really like their stuff. I'd also really like it if you could check out this video on how to be more productive though. You think you could help me out? You wanna do that? Please, please.